Good morning, guys. Hey, friends. So we're here hanging out at the spit like we normally do in Campbell River. This is like our new favorite spot. There's tons of parking, nice ocean breeze, lots of good views, and you're like right on the ocean here, so it's pretty amazing. But it's getting close to one o'clock now, which means it's almost time for our check-in time at Elk Falls Provincial Park. Yeah, we have three nights booked in the same campsite, so we're gonna roll out there. We bought some goodies, a little assortment, if you will, for a campfire tonight. So we're gonna be camping good and having a good time, and let's hit the road. And here is home sweet home for the next three nights. Yeah, really nice campsite here. So looking forward to taking advantage of it. We did actually stay at this campground last night. We had a bit of a work day to get done and we were like, well, we could boondock in the same area again, but there is some first come first serve sites here. So yeah. we managed to pick up one of those for only $22 that night. Yeah, it was a Sunday morning. So we figured there'd be a lot of people leaving their first come first serve sites on Sunday morning there. So we were lucky, we came here like 11 o'clock and kind of did a loop and we saw a couple free spots so we actually picked a nicer one and it's a good time. Yeah, a pro strat we had too is all of the first come first serves have little paper slips on them so let's say you're showing up on the 20th and it says that the 20th is the date on it, that means that it's only booked until then so even if the people haven't checked out yet and there's a vehicle there, don't be discouraged. Look at the actual date, maybe do a walk around of the campground and then you know which vehicle to look for when it's leaving so you could sit by the front entrance way and as soon as you see that rig leave or sit outside the parking stall even in reality if you wanted by 11 and you can steal it and you know it's open that day. Yeah, so we're going to be taking advantage of that tip too on the Sunshine Coast because we actually don't have any provincial parks booked on the Sunshine Coast. So. Yeah, that's true. This is our last provincial park we have booked right now. Yeah, it is. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, let's get set up. I can hear cat hollering away and enjoy camping. Look how filthy you've gone and got in yourself. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to do some cleaning. What were you thinking? Did you have fun at least? Okay, so fire's rolling. I did learn a little fire making trick in my bushcraft book today too. I made feather sticks, I guess where you use your knife and kind of scrape along and it gives a bit more surface area. I didn't do a great job compared to the book, but I just wanted to try it real fast. Alicia got some painting in, Cat came outside and kind of had her cat exploration of the day if you will. She was rolling in the dirt being all sorts of crazy, so at least she's happy to be camping again. We're now going to use up some hamburger buns instead of hot dog buns because we want to make room in our pantry and I think they're starting to get a little old so hamburger bun hot dogs coming at you and then we also have the large marshmallows that we're going to try and make s'mores with. One of you out there recommended Reese's cups to put inside the marshmallow so we're going to try that and we couldn't find graham crackers so we have cookies for a base. It's going to be delicious and then tomorrow we're going to explore this campground with you, find maybe our favorite campsite in the campground so you know which one you might want to book and I think there's a suspension bridge around too we're going to find so whole lot to do here at Elk Falls Provincial Park. So, the game plan I have for putting hot dogs in a hamburger bun is gonna be taking your wieners, snapping them in half. Oh my god. And then you'll be able to spread them out however you need, perhaps this way. That looks hamburger bun friendly. Hmm. Let's find out. I personally would have just cut them in half after you cooked them. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butterfly my hot dogs and it's gonna be Whoa. better. Oh. 
So here's my kind of foolish creation in reality. And there's Alicia's double dog butterfly. I gotta say, I think she won the battle of hamburger hot dog. How do you feel being the winner of the hamburger hot dog contest? I mean, don't be so hot on yourself. Yours looks fine. And also, these hot dogs look weird because they're chicken hot dogs and they're like really low calorie or whatever. So Ew. They cook kind of funny, but whatever. <laughs> All right, and now for dessert. This is a large marshmallow by Walmart standards, and I would agree. Giant. Giant, oh my. <laughs> I'm putting words in their mouth. A giant sized marshmallow, 90 calories compared to the 30 in a normal marshmallow bag I read, so it's a triple marshmallow basically. I'm gonna cook it, let it get nice and golden brown, land it, and then we'll go from there for the surprise part. Okay, so when it got nice and golden brown, I went as long as I could before it was gonna start sliding off. I then ran over to my plate, landed it face down. I made sure my skewers didn't puncture through for no oozing. And then when I removed it, where the holes were being, it was melted in the middle. I took three pieces of milk chocolate, crammed it inside, and then just pinched your marshmallow top closed. And now they're inside melting and I'll get you a cross-section bite in a second to come here. Let it cool down a little bit now too, that should help the chocolate melt. And also, normally when you eat a marshmallow, I was thinking recently, you always just like cram it in your mouth and then it's kind of like oozy hot, so see if this is any better. Well, there's the chocolate. Whoa. What? That should not even be a thing. Dang. Mm. It's so messy. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay, so the Reese's cup is entombed. The cookie's on top. <laughs> this one's gonna need a little extra time to cool here now. Oh my. What did you do to that poor s'mores? <laughs> and final dessert of the night. It should be cooled down to air temperature at least now. I question what a cooked marshmallow would be like in the, oh no, the <laughs> fridge. When I, when I checked, this hadn't happened. But apparently we're stirring up the shmallow, everybody. Oh no. Oh no is right, oh no. So. I had looked earlier when it wasn't quite solidified to the plate yet, apparently, but the Reese cup did in fact melt. This is gonna be really messy, but I'm gonna eat this and enjoy it. And then tomorrow we're gonna explore the campgrounds, find the best site in the park we like, check out the river and find that suspension bridge. See you then. So, good sunny day here now. We're gonna go find out what Elk Falls Provincial Park has in store for us. There's a big river that runs right along the front row of campgrounds, so we're gonna go try and find out maybe our favorite campground for next time if we ever come back in the future. And also we're gonna try and find a salmon fishing spot because we're thinking tomorrow we may wanna get out the rods and it's kind of the peak salmon fishing time right now, so might be some hope for that too. Campsites that are along the river here because there's people in all of them, but this one have to be empty. So we ran in. And look at this. This is like a famous fishing river. It's so beautiful. It smells like the ocean, even. It's like ocean water somehow. I don't know. Good campsites. Yeah. Anywhere along this river, I think it would just be awesome. So we found 
found this trail that actually runs around probably like three quarters of the campground and it's all along the river here. So I think this is where we'll be heading tomorrow to try and catch some fish. Off this trail there's a whole bunch of little like jet outs to little paths that go to the riverside so we can definitely try a bunch of different spots on this whole trail and see if any one spot is luckier than the other. So I really really hope we actually catch something this time. I really want to catch a keeper because I want salmon for dinner sometime so can you do that for me? Here's the hoping. We're in a good spot. We're determined to catch a keeper fish. Look at this rock. That's a good fishing spot. Okay, so this is the first. We just got back from our lovely Elk Falls Provincial Park walk. We were putting the RV slides in and getting ready to hit the road to go to the suspension bridge. It's an hour and 20 minute walk, so we're gonna drive, but... Firewood has appeared. That's like, probably two provincial parks bags full of worth at least. That'd be like a $14 amount of firewood, dang. I don't know if the provincial parks took enough up, or if one of you guys out there recognized us and hooked us up, but thank you to you or the provincial parks bonus fire night <laughs> that is seriously so weird and like generous like that's a lot of firewood and i don't think the parks would do that <laughs> so i'm wondering if it was one of you guys like <laughs> that's so random and i'm so grateful because i mean that looks like some dry firewood looks good so <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> bonus so we're parked here at the Elk Falls day use area, but in the BC Hydro spot, thank you BC Hydro, we found this sign. It says that currently right now, the river can flow up to 10 times the normal amount. So I guess it's super dangerous, obviously everyone's fishing standing in the river. But the funny part of that is, I didn't actually talk about it on the vlog yesterday, I had just fun footage of it, but I was sitting outside whittling away on a stick, and I heard a noise that I thought maybe the aliens were coming to take over Earth, it was about maybe the craziest siren I think I've ever heard. And now it all makes sense at least. Hmm. So we've got to go left down the pathway here and then there's going to a suspension bridge. It's a pretty popular one too, so we're going to check that out. And in case I didn't make it clear earlier, I kind of got lost in thought, but siren indicates rapid changes in water levels and flow. Evacuate river channel immediately are the warnings we're dealing with, so maybe the speeds will pick up enough that the alien noises will come back again tonight, but let's see if we get lucky. How nice was that waterfall, hey? The view from the first viewpoint's good, but the suspension bridge viewpoint and suspension bridge itself can't be beat. And this was only a couple minute drive from the campground just up the road Campbell River ways even more from Campbell River up. That's what we love about Elk Falls Provincial Park. Two kilometers from the main little core of Campbell River. Literally, you stay on the main highway from the campground going down and Walmart will be on your right. Canadian Tire and Home Depot will be on your left. If you get to that spit where we boondocked and we enjoyed the ocean front, that's just down the little main stretch as well. So literally it's such a beautiful campground with a short drive to a beautiful waterfall, all right in the middle of town. You could get there in minutes. Loving it here. So after the suspension bridge, we actually went down to Campbell River for a quick bite to eat and to get into town and do some errands. We got back to the kind of campsite here and we were actually gonna do a campfire tomorrow night, we figured, and warm up because we're gonna be in the river tomorrow hopefully salmon fishing and all that good fun. 
But we got back to the campsite and that firewood that got dropped off is now missing. I mean, easy come, easy go. Maybe it was a BC Parks host and they dropped it off at the wrong campsite? Either way, we have leftover firewood in the hatch so we can still do a fire tomorrow, but how odd is that? Show up, wow, a lot of firewood. Leave, come back, oh, that firewood's gone. Very strange times right now. Very strange experience camping, but either way, we'll have a campfire tomorrow and we're gonna go play in the river, but we're gonna call it a night here and pick up and we'll see you in the morning. and come down to this river because it's a bigger river so we're thinking maybe there's a better chance we'll catch fish. That's just our logic but I've got a small little spoon on here that I'm gonna try casting out into the river. We've actually never really done much river fishing so this is also gonna be like a first for us so if we catch anything we'll be really surprised. that cool pink thing. So I've decided I'm gonna tie on this pink rooster tail. But the thing is, this is one of my like OG lucky lures. Like I've had this for years and I caught so many trout on this thing and I really don't wanna lose it. But I feel like now is the time to bust out the lucky lure. I hope I don't lose you. Not looking good so far. We're at location number two, which is just down that walk path we did a little bit earlier there. So it's just past the lucky big rock. We'll see if we have any luck in the Quinsome River, which is connected to the Campbell River. I have a float equipped, so we'll see if a little float lure can sit around and maybe give me some luck tonight, but at least that'll be an easy way to kind of kick it back the feet, take it easy and enjoy the river, but I don't know about this whole fishing thing for us again. That's gonna be a wrap for the fishing, folks. Nothing to report, sadly, but at least we got to get out and enjoy the river and enjoy Elk Falls Provincial Park a bit more. What a weird camping trip this was, though. I gotta say, this has to be one of our weirdest days at a provincial park, or even just camping in general, counting forest service roads, boondocking. Just so weird to come back and find out someone's been in your campsite and given you free firewood, and then to come back and find out it's gone. That was definitely something. And then on top of that, we got to hear that alien noise. I mean, never heard a siren like that, so fun time overall. I think tomorrow we're gonna pick on up and do a day in the life, kind of take you through everything we get up to because it's a big day tomorrow as well. We're catching the ferry from Courtney Comox area over to Powell River, so it'll be a little bit of a farewell to Vancouver Island. We're gonna stop by a few of our favorite spots on the way out, I think, enjoy that ocean view, and then catch a sunset ferry with some beautiful skies, hopefully. So we'll see you in the next RV vlog, friends. Thank you all for being here. Leave that like if you enjoyed it, of course, and we'll catch you in the next video. Good night, everyone. <laughs>